In this video today, we're going to uh, we're going to go over the shifter adjustment. Probably one of the biggest tech calls we get. People not really understanding the adjustment. When you get this shifter in the box, it'll have a little cap holding in the spare parts, basically that are inside of it. You need to disassemble it a little bit to uh, to install it properly or easily, I should say. Uh, so take the two screws that hold the barrel in. This little swivel barrel we'll use to adjust, make a fine tune adjustment on it. But this piece right here on the inside, you'll take this piece and basically screw it onto the end of the cable. Um, this gap right here should be about 5 eighths of an inch between here and here. Uh, that'll make sure you get full shifter throw. Once that's on there, then the uh, the cable barrel can be slipped over it. You want to screw that down on there about halfway or so to start. Then that little slide goes in there. Then you'll want to install it into the shifter. Easiest if the shifter is actually uh, in the um, uh, unlock position as you see it here. Then you want to install the screws. You want to install these screws not tight because you're going to want to be able to spin this barrel right here and that's how we'll adjust it. So once you get the screws installed probably the best thing to do at this point is to take the shifter knob spring and locking cup off. As you can see, now this piece here, see it's kind of tight, it's got no play in it. It's a little too tight, so what you'll want to do is adjust this so you get just, just till you get a little bit of slop in it. You don't want much. That's probably too much. Just, just adjust it until that's all gone. That's pretty good. And we're not going to lock everything down with wrenches right now, but uh, we'll just tighten it up a little bit. What this is doing is it's going to allow you to get full throw from your shifter into the locker. If you don't have enough throw, it won't go into full lock. That's, I think, where most people run into the problem. If you have too much, it'll try to try to engage too early. Uh, if you have a lot of slop, that's when you're not going to get full engagement. If you don't have any slop and it's got a little tension on it, that's where it's going to want to engage a little bit too early. So this should be a pretty good adjustment. We can watch now. As we shift it, we go into lock. As you can see, the axle's not going to spin in full lock. Unlock. Now we've got the ability to have, to have the open differential. What the spring is doing in there, and what you're trying to get adjusted is, depending on the position of the gears inside this locker, when you go to shift it, as you can see, the locking ring didn't move over. But it's ready as soon as you get enough differentiation. As soon as the axles turn, as you can see I just barely moved it. It goes into lock, and now your axle is just like a spool. Unlock, and you're open. It's really fairly simple. We do get a lot of tech calls on it, but um, that should be the main thing. Just It's easiest to see that you have the right amount of slop if you take the knob and shifter off. You can feel it a little bit by pulling it up, but it's easier with it off. So that should do it. You tighten everything down and you're good. We saw how the cable was adjusted in a, uh, a different video. If you uh, get a chance, take a look at that if you're not sure. Proper thread depth into the piston on the shift fork, we'll, uh, we'll make sure everything goes smooth at this end. 